is I'll answer your question in a second. So again, if here, we don't want to ln in the numerator. We want to get that down, right? Derivatives are easy when we're not dealing with fractions. So if we take the ln of both sides, I can now bring that in front. ln of y equals ln of x times ln of x. Wait a minute, what did I do? Why did I have that? Sorry. Oh, yeah, I took the ln of that. Correct? Which I could really write as ln of y equals ln of x squared. Now, if I want to differentiate with respect to x, d over dx, d over dx. Derivative of ln of y with respect to y is 1 over y, dy dx. Derivative of ln, square, ln of x squared, I can apply the chain rule to ln of x times 1 over x, right? And then to get rid of the y, I'd multiply by y on both sides. I'm actually going to write the y in front, though. dy dx is equal to my y, which is, let's see, nothing's really going to cancel out here, so well, I'll just write in front. x to the ln of x, and then we'll have a uh, 2 ln of x all over x. Just remember that those x's do not divide out. That's the ln of x, and that's a divided by x, so you can't like divide those out. Basically, you'd have something 